What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk to you about what's going on. So if you saw my Grom Day video, you obviously know that my bike's having a little bit of an issue. So if you saw the video, you saw all the smoke that came out of my exhaust, which honestly was pretty scary. I thought I blew my motor and I honestly really accepted it as you saw in the video. It might've blew up. But that's not the case. So I wanted to make this video to inform you guys as what not to do and also fix my issue at the same time. So the first issue and the main issue that caused it to happen in the first place is I overfilled it with oil. So this isn't the greatest representation, but it was a little past the line. So I took out a little bit of oil to try to help that, but that was the biggest issue. That's the biggest reason it happened. Obviously oil still got in the motor, so I'm trying to help that from happening again. But the biggest thing is I overfilled it. So now the question is, how did the oil get into the motor? So basically the way that happened is there is a breather hose that is on the side of the motor, which I'm taking off right here. This is the stock breather hose that I cut. But now I'm replacing the hose that I cut with the same exact hose that's not cut. So you can see how much I cut off of it. That's a lot of hose right here. So that's why I cut it. I wanted it to be shorter and nicer looking. But the problem with that was, is while the oil is sputtering and kind of trying to force its way up with that pressure, I gave it less distance to travel. So it was easier to get into the intake and, you know, Obviously, oil got into the intake. So obviously, I'm going from the shorter line to the longer line. You guys get it, it's a longer line and the oil is gonna be harder to go up the longer line. But I can't stress this enough, this line probably would have been 100% fine if I just would have properly filled my oil. But because I overfilled it, it happened. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the situation altogether. So where this, line went from the crankcase to the intake system, I will be blocking off my intake system and the new line will go from the crankcase straight out to the atmosphere. Now, I don't want junk getting in there obviously, so I'm gonna put a small breather filter on it. I don't have one yet, I'm gonna grab one tomorrow. I just wanted to go ahead and film this video, but I'm grabbing one tomorrow from my local store, which is Beggar Motorsports. So I'm grabbing one tomorrow, putting it on there and it's done. So then if it ever overfills again, oil will be getting on top of my engine versus in my engine. So that's pretty much it. Just gonna put this hose on there for right now. Go get the breather filter tomorrow from Baker and then that should fix my issue. If you guys have ideas as to how to fix this issue another way, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.